What's up guys, this is Michael Sean from Unison Games, and I know I just hit you guys with an opening video about the Galarian Partner Tins, which are right there, still providing a nice background for us. Got some good pulls in there, um, and uh, saw a rainbow rare of some sort. I won't spoil it for you guys, you guys gotta head back and watch that video, but now we're gonna be opening this fancy booster box of Sword and Shield. I got my um, TCG player pulled up to the side here. I'm very excited to see what we get out of this. We're looking for Gold Zacian, obviously, because we got, you know, $50 in that card. Um, really, any Zacian is good to go. Quick Ball, Secret Rare is the next highest on the list. Let's see what is the next thing that we're looking for. Um, Full Art Marnie looks to be the most expensive one of those, going for uh, right now. Um, $25 or more. That is the cheaper one of them. Um, and actually the full art is going for more than the rainbow, which I appreciate because I think full arts are better than rainbows. Come at me in the comments if you disagree. Um, next most expensive card is Professor Research rainbow version and then the full art version. I have seen the rainbow version of that. It looks really good. Snorlax VMAX rainbow is the next most, then Metal Saucer Secret Rare, Snorlax VMAX itself is going for a little above $10 right now, which is nice. Lapras VMAX is another one that's up there. Ordinary Rob, Air Balloon. I just pulled an Air Balloon the other day, actually. But those are some of the cards that we're going to be keeping our eye out for. Of course, any like uh, V that's Full Art or VMAX that's Rainbow, I will be more than happy with that. All the Full Art trainers are cool. Um, I would love the Marnie one looks fantastic. So I'm down for that one. But let's uh, not delay any further. Let's go ahead and get this thing open so that we can see what's going down. Here we go. This is a display box. So let's go ahead and fold this over so that we can have Zamazenta hanging out with us. All right, we'll leave the, the box there until we get a good pull that we will put on the tins and all that. So here's the most important thing, of course, that I'm gonna be doing with mine. We gotta save Snorlax VMAX for the end. I don't really care about the other ones, but Snorlax VMAX is my guy. I love Snorlax. He's amazing, he's fat, he makes me feel better about myself. Plus, look at that art, man, so good. It's like a whole universe. Reminds me of like the Mario Galaxy stage in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Um, so shout out to that, but Snorlax VMAX is getting open last because we got to save the best for last. Um, me personally, you guys don't have to do this, but I'm the kind of guy that when a new set comes out, I pick my favorite pack art, and then anytime I'm going to buy single packs, which is very rare, but anytime I'm going to do it, or if I win events, win single packs, I always ask for one particular pack art. This one, as you can probably see, was Snorlax VMAX. All right, there we go. Gonna be giving some of the codes away today. Here's the first one, we'll go ahead and give that one away. Boom, there it is. Go ahead and redeem that. Um, two, three, four, and let's get started on these openings. I'm pretty, pretty pumped. Boom. Heatmore, Drizzile. Ordinary Rod, very playable card. Q-Fant, Baltoy, Salandit, Ponyta, Pinchino, Hollow Sobble. Look at it, so cute. Chinchino, that's a great card. All right, good good first pull, good first pull. Um, we'll go ahead and set it to the side, because it's a good card, but it's not anything crazy expensive. We'll set our hollows to the side, and we'll put the rest over here. Boom, let's do another one. We're gonna go kind of quickly with this, because we do have 36 packs to open, so this is gonna be pretty exciting. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna give away every other code. That's, that's the goal, so stay tuned for the video, and I'll do more at the end. I didn't do the pack trick, but that's okay. We won't do it for this pack. There's Maractus, Hollow Shelder. Okay, we'll go ahead and save the rare until the end, though. Boop. All right. Some energy. Lucky Egg, very playable card. Mantine, Crushing Hammer. Cloyster. Hey, look at that. We had a Hollow uh, Shelder and then a Cloyster right behind it. Uh, I don't even know what this does. What does it do? Nothing really good. Cool. All right. We got two of the doggos up there. Look at that. He's ready. One of them better actually have his Asian in it. All right, here is the code for this one as promised. There you go. Lots of W's in that one. 
I'll go ahead and put it to the side. I have a feeling that after the filming of this video, I'm just gonna have cards sitting everywhere, and that's okay. That's a good place to be, in fact. Darkness Energy, Lumberry, Aurora Energy, the new and sometimes better Rainbow Energy. Double, Diglett, Ferrisseed, Goldie, Rosalia, Joltik. Oh, nice. A Reverse Hollow Galarian Rapidash is actually pretty good. This, this card um, has some merit to it where uh, your Pokemon recover from all special conditions and can't be affected by special conditions when you play this bound. What is that called? Pastel Veil. It looks like a little hard to read because of the hollowing, but very nice. Plus, it's a unicorn. All right. Whimsicott. Oh, my goodness. Today's the day of Whimsicott's. In our previous video, we saw a lot of Whimsicott. Um, not necessarily the card that you want to be seeing a lot of. We'll just leave it at that. All right, Zacians are staring at us. They are ready to be open. So let's dive into them. Go put that down. We to see whether or not this pack is going to be exciting. Here we go. Fire energy. That's a good way to start. Doug Trio. Love switch. Energy retrieval. Classic. Galarian Zigzagoon is very good. We like that. Gossifler. Silcobra. Yamper. Grab these cards if you're crabby. Got a Hollow Stone Journer. And Gengar. Gengar is actually really interesting. I think this card could be good later on. With its Life Shaker, as often as you like during your turn, you may move one damage counter from one of your Psychic Pokemon to another of your Psychic Pokemon. I think if we get some, you know, tankier... Psychic Pokemon, or Pokemon that do a lot of damage based on how much damage they have, uh, this could potentially see a little bit of play. With Evolution and in Incense and Quick Ball and Rare Candy making it a little easier to get our Stage 2s out than maybe we've experienced in the past. I think, who knows? Maybe it will happen. Maybe, I don't know what I'm talking about. Could be. There we go. Sword and Shield. Hit it up on PPCGO. All right. By the way, as well, you can check out my eBay page, which I'll link in the description, for more uh, PTCGO codes. Uh, that's one of my best-selling products at Unison Games. So definitely hit that up. You got Bede, Raboot, Rare Candy. We always like seeing Rare Candy. Sobble, Blitbug, Wooloo, Joltik, Salandit, Rhyhorn, and another Galarian Rapidash. This time, not shiny, but we still like it. It's much easier to read. Um, great art on the card, My Little Pony. Uh, shout out to any bronies out there. I personally was not a brony, but I have a lot of friends who were. So shout out to you guys. Um, we, we, we love you, and uh, unicorns are great, you know? All right, here we go. Here is the pack trick. Metal Energy, Air Balloon, Poke Kid, Heatmore, Yamper, Skaroopy, Clobopus, Wooloo, Sobble, Mawile, and Sandaconda. Very interesting. Not, not particularly good rare. We got more dogs here. Amazenta. Maybe they brought their friends. Here is the code. There you go. All right, one, two, three, four. Water Energy, Evolution Incense, which is that card that I was just talking about. Just searches for Evolution Pokemon. Pretty decent. Salazzle, Bisharp, Yamper, Calabropus, Cottony, Chewtel, Rhyhorn, Hollow Mudshale, Durant. That's a rare? Wow. If uh, Durant is on your bench, this attack does 60 more damage. So you do 90 for like a little dude. Maybe that could be okay. I can see that maybe being a thing in Expanded, where maybe you're trying to play like a Mill Durant deck, and then, you know, you just put that in there for the memes or something. I don't know. All right. All right giving us some issues here. There we go. Put that to the side. Okay. Been a little while since we had a uh, hollow rare or higher. Let's see if we can get ourselves something good from here. here we go, Energy Switch, Dottler, Galarian Stunfisk, Salanda, Galarian Ponyta, Minchino, Sobble, Blitbug, Mantine, another Sandaconda. 
Let's see what this thing does. This Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks. If this Pokemon has at least one extra fighting energy, this attack does 70 more damage. Mm, doesn't necessarily seem like it would be anything that's crazy good. However, I love the art. This is such a nice little thing right there. I like that. Cool art. And it is a rare. That is hollow. All right, let's go through the Lapis Remax. At this point, I would be down just to see something like a Lapis Remax. Um, let's go ahead and put that to the side. We know we got a Clavipus. That was a little sneak peek for you. Water Energy, Lumberry, Corvusquire, Galvantula, Clavipus, Ghastly, Rookadi, Sizzlipede, Snom, Hollow Palpad. We like that. And Lapras V. Well, that's kind of cool. We opened a Lapras pack, got a Lapras V. Um, kind of nice. Obviously, evolves into some good stuff. Um, and it can help get some of your um, some of your water energies back, which is kind of helpful in a Lapras V Max deck. So we like that. Let's put that in a sleeve. Get that up for the camera to see, make the image a little bit more comfortable. We'll give it to uh, Grookey over there. Very nice. All right, we got a Zacian pack. Hopefully that means we're going to be looking at a Zacian pull, but probably not because we just got a green code. Speaking of codes, there it is. Let's go ahead and get Grass Energy, Air Balloon, Telpad, Kingler, Rhyhorn, Rookadee, Grabby, Cute Grookey, Mudbray. Look at it. It's just like, oh, I don't want to go in the Pokeball. Lapras, hollow, that's kind of cool. What does it do? You may put two energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon, active Pokemon into their hand. 70 for four energy. I mean, maybe, I don't know. And Drapion. Cool, put it over there. All right. Another Lapras pack, hopefully. We got something good from it. Let's go ahead and put that over there. So we don't spoil the pack for us. Here we go. There's four. Fighting Energy, Potion, Rhydon. That's kind of cool art. Eldegoss, Sizzlipede, Yamper, Calabapus, Cottony, Chutol, Hollow Sinistee, and Scorch. This is, uh, people were thinking about uh, doing some things in uh, uh, Mill with this card, but. Uh, hasn't really seen a lot of action since it actually came out, um, so I'm not sure. Maybe maybe like a future card, a card to keep your eye on. For it. Don't forget, we did put all the Snorlax and Max Packs aside, which means our best pulls are yet to come. All right, I think we might have some promise with this pack. Let's take a look. We got a Metal Energy, the Wacky, Lucky Egg, Dub Wool, Cute Sobble, Rhyhorn, Rosalia, Ferroseed, Krabby, Hollow Pokemon Center Lady. That's kind of cool. And, okay, we got a Full Art Stone Journer V. This is definitely one of those ones that people are keeping their eye on. And I don't know why, but I've kind of had the hankering to play a fighting deck lately, and there just aren't any really good ones. So I think Stone Journer V is probably the best candidate for possibly uh, getting to one. So during your opponent's next turn, this takes 20 less damage. For one energy, is pretty good. And then 3 Energy Mega Kick for 150 could be really good, too, I think. Um, and then the VMAX has some stuff going on. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get that later on. Let's go ahead and put that with our Lapras over there. Cool. Hopefully we can fill up this whole background area with, with a good pull, so we'll see what happens. Zamazenta. All right. Oh, we might have some promise with that one. Here's the code. There we go. All right. See what we got. Fire Energy, Vitality Man, Haunter, The Wacky, Rosalia, Pharisee, Krabby, Galarian Ziggs' Goon, Gossifler, Yamper, Stone Journey V. Wow, that's very interesting. This seems like maybe the TCG is calling out to us saying, play Stone Journey V. Never know. Let's stick it over there with the uh, its full art counterpart. Very interesting. I honestly, um, I like both of those arts a lot, actually. I think I really like the background on the full art, though. Very, like, cool, like, colors that they got going on there. 
Um, but it is kind of cool that he's like kicking you in that one. I definitely would not like to be kicked by, uh, not, sorry, not kicked, mega kicked by a Stone Journey V. I feel like that would be pretty painful. All right, here is the pack. Let's see what we got. Go to four. All right, Darkness Energy, Rotom Bike, Big Charm, Seeking, Pikachu, very cute art on this Pikachu. I really like the, the shading that they did and the coloring. It looks very soft. I like it. Clary Mouth, Sizzlepeed, Wooloo, Grookey, Roserade, that's cool, and Thievil. There you go. Kind of a little on the nose. Darkness type, has Thief, Thievil. But, you know, what do I know? Big Charm's pretty good. Definitely seen some play. I've seen it in a lot of Kikaram builds. You guys can have this code all to yourself. There it is. Boom. Um, and let's take a look. Psychic Energy, Dotler, Corvus Squire, Great Ball, Clobopus, Goldeen, Rosalia, Ghastly, Ponyard, Hollow Cottony, and Raichu. Good art, bad card. Snorlax pile is looking like kind of wants to rescue us. Now let's go ahead and take this out of the way. Right, got a little sneak peek of that Crow Gunk. Hitmonlee, Salazzle. Oh, Metal Saucer. This is a good card. Um, so that's a pretty decent pull. That's one of the things that we're looking for as well. Is just like like meta game items. Um, so that's good. We're looking for that quick ball. We like that. Glarian Meowth, Score Bunny, Sinisty, Maractus, Sizzlipede, Ninetales. Really, really good art. Not a great card. Same deal with the, the as the Raichu kind of. But I like the art a lot. It looks nice. I would say the art in the set overall, I think, is actually pretty good. Let's go ahead and give this code to you guys. There it is. Enjoy it. See what we got going on in this pack. What kind of art were we looking at there? A Lapras. Well, Lapras did us good before. Raboot. Sudowoodoo. Hop. Come on, draw three. Okay. Pine Kirchen? I think it's Pine Kirchen. Pin Kirchen was work as well. Vulpix. Nicket. Baltoid. Chinchu. Joltik. Oh, good. The good Inteleon. That's nice. Uh, nice hollow there. Shady Dealings, when you play this card from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may search your deck for up to two trainers. Reveal them and put them in your hand. That seems pretty good. I could see this being like a control thing if we get some other good like water Pokemon that have controly attacks. Um, can you imagine, like, I feel like this might have been good with like Seismitoad EX. Maybe, who knows, maybe that's a thing in the expanded format to consider maybe some Seismitoad action. I don't know. We'll see, but I, I like that card. We're good. We're good with that. I'm okay with it. With that being a pull, obviously we prefer some ultra rares, but let's take what we can get. Right, so we get this out of the way. Get a sneak peek of that mana coming up. Get hyped. All right, we got another metal saucer. It's very good. We like that. Quick ball. Wow, like the two most playable items from this set, right back to back from the same pack. We like that quite a bit. Mantine. Mana, Rosalia, Chewtle. I really like Chewtle. I just like its name, Chewtle. So cute. Blitbug, my guy. Rhyhorn. Bisharp. Snorlax, what's up? You are a terrible card, but look at you eating those apples, right? I think those are apples. Maybe cherries. Love me some Snorlax, guys. Like you said, it makes me feel a lot better about myself. Here we go. Take a look at this code. Get yourself some good cards. Maybe you two will pull a Snorlax or maybe even something better. Let's see if we can open this pack up a little bit, get better grip on our cards. Oh, we got a little bit of whiting on this rare again. Look at that. 
right out of the pack. That's too bad. Well, I still hope it's something that's good. Darkness Energy, Great Ball, Galarian Lanoon, Rotom Bike, Score Bunny, Sinistee, Maractus, Pikachu, Galarian Meowth, Hype or a Hollow Potion, that's cool. Durant, again, okay, I'm very okay with seeing Durant have some whiting. I don't really care about that. But of course, we would have wanted to see something that was a little bit better still. Okay, we got the uh, doggo pair again right there. Boom. Super doggos. Let's uh, take a look, see what we can do here. We pull one of those for ourselves. Let's see what we can do. Back of that card looks a lot better. Let's take a look. I love how this quick ball is just kind of in the camera. Okay, got Energy Retrieval, Ferrothorn, Heatmore, Shelder, Krogunk, Silcobra, Mancino, Vulpix, Hollow Calabopus, Toxicroak. This is actually kind of an interesting card. It just makes people poisoned be more poisoned. Basically, you poison for three, just automatically on an ability. And it's only a stage one. I think possibly we could see this seeing some play. I'm not totally positive, so like, maybe it won't see any, but I think it could. Especially if we get better Vs that do some poisony type things. Um, then I'd be really down for it. Okay, here we go. Fire Energy, Galarian Stunfisk, Hyper Potion, Team Yellgrunt, put an energy into their hand, that's kind of cool. Pine Kirchen, Blitbug, Rhyhorn, Minchino, Chinchuo, or Chinchu, Raboot, more Pico. Look at him stuffing his face. So cute. But at the same time, looks pretty evil to me. I think he's evil in the games too. Like he's kind of like a pain to deal with. But I don't know. I have not played the games. I'm still playing Pokemon Blue. All right. Got a nice little code there for you guys. See what we can do with this pack. Fighting Energy, Salazizzle, Doug Trio. Oh, we took two cards there. Pokemon Center Lady. Hoot Hoot, Score Bunny, Pikachu, Sinistee, Wooloo, Score Bunny. More Pico again. He's following us around. Come on, more Pico. Go mind your own business. Eat your food somewhere else. Let's see what's next. All right. Fire Energy, another Team Yelgrunt, the Bad Drizzile, Galarian Stunfisk, Clopopus, Wooloo, Sobble, Pine Curgeon, Blipbug, Silcobra, and Sandaconda. At least there's uh, some, you know, uh, consistency, right? All right, what do we got here on our last couple packs before the Snorlax? We got, uh, let's put the dogs at the back. Go Lapras VMAX first. All right, here's a code for you guys. There you go. So here's the deal, for the rest of the thing, I'm not gonna give out codes, but I'm gonna give the last four packs of codes out. So stay until the end of the video, and you are most likely to get those packs. So we're right on, Big Charm, The Wacky, Hoot Hoot, Pine Kirchen, Vulpix, Nickit, Baltoy, Hollow Quick Ball. We like that. We like that a lot. In fact, that's even better than our rare, which is Masharna. But we like Hollow Quick Ball. Put that over in the nice non ultra rare pile. All right. Those three Vs are starting to get lonely over there. I want some friends. Let's see if this pack can provide some of that. All right, Fire, Sudowoodo, Eldegoss, Energy Search, Sizzlepeed, Galarian Zigzagoon, Mana, Snom, Grookey, Hollow Aurora Energy, which we like, Cramorant, look at that guy. All I can think of is Finding Nemo when I see this card. Um, it's like the birds look kind of crazy, you know? So you got like the mine birds, but then it's also like the, the bigger like pelican type birds that like carried them in the mouth. What a nice movie. Good memories, good memories. 
I saw from my base day when it came out. Oh, we got possibly a good pack here. Possibly a good pack. Maybe those Vs over there won't be lonely forever. So we'll see what we can do here. Psychic, Galarian Linoon, Energy Switch, Bisharp, Mawile, Gossifleur, Goldeen, Diglett, Skaroopy. Oh, Orbeetle is my dude. Yeah, he's pretty got he's pretty good. I like him. Basically chip tip ice axe on the ability once during your turn you may look at the top three of your opponent's deck and put them back in any order. I do think that it has some potential in egg route decks, but um who knows? Boom. Copperaja. I don't see how this card could see play. It's just it's tanky, but like it's kind of cool though. The hollowing looks really good on the card. Um, like this, the, the particular sun and moon hollow pattern that's like straight up and down, I think looks really good with this art. All right. Last non Snorlax pack. Here we go. Another one that could potentially be good. Let's take a look. Boom. Pokey Gear, Aurora Energy, Ferrothorn, Chinchuo, Krabby. Minchino, Galarian Ponyta, Cottony, Hollow Chewtle, Professor's Research. That's not so bad. We like Professor's Research, especially when it's hollow. Worth a couple of bucks. There we go. Okay. Now for the main event. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Snorlax packs. That is exactly a quarter, so um, good for the Pokemon Company, making that happen. We'll go ahead and separate our four packs out. Those four packs are going to be ones that you guys will get the codes for. Before we do that, let's take a look at these. All right. Here we go. Sizzlipede. Oh, we got to do our pack. I almost forgot. Go ahead and guess the energy. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Psychic. Wins the day. We got Bede. We got Hitmon Lee. Oh my goodness, he doesn't want to come out. We got Rare Candy. We got Galarian Zigzagoon. We got Mana. We got Snom. We got Grookey. We got. Uh, I love the art on this Cinderace. This is my favorite Cinderace art. I don't think that it's particularly great. 50 and Burn. Burning Kick. Discard all energy from this Pokemon. Like. I think maybe you could play this with the other. That Cinderace is actually good. Just as like almost like a tech card. Um, so I think having a copy of it's a good good idea, but I don't think it's great. And we got Lantern, which is, um, well, not something that we like to see. Let's just put it that way. Okay, here we go. Sneak peek, Mudbray's coming up. All right, we got a chance here. Got a chance. We got a white code, which means we could have a rare. We're going to have a hollow rare or higher in this pack, so maybe... We'll see some good stuff. There's a switch. Ferrothorn, Raboot, Mudbray, Pawniard, Scorbunny, Nicket, Chinchuo, Citrus Berry, and Wobbuffet V. Cool. This is um, a card that is definitely uh, very techable. The gritty comeback, switch all damage counters on this Pokemon with those on your opponent's active Pokemon. Maybe even a possible partner for that Gengar that we saw earlier today. But most of all, just very excited to see another V. Join our party over here. There we go. All right. Snorlax is uh, looking good so far. Looking good. Okay. Here we go. Metal Energy. Quillfish, Poke Kid, Energy Search, Silcobra, Flipbug, Goldeen, Yamper, Skaroopy, Hollow Big Charm, we like that. Turtonator. Alright. Winding down here. Alright. Got a little sneak peek at that Rookity. Psychic Energy Pokemon Catcher, which is very playable. Oh. Kicking the camera here. So violent. So violent. 
All right, sorry about that, guys. Haunter, Vitality Ban, Rookity, Krabby, Rookie, Mudbray, Hootoot, Hollow, Krogunk, and Knockdow. We like Knockdow. I uh, would love to play this deck where you just you should basically just shuffle all your opponent's Pokemon. It's like a control deck into their deck. And uh, this says choose one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. They shuffle that Pokemon and all cards attached to it into their deck, then shuffle this Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your deck. So it's kind of cool. I think you play it with like a bunch of Poké Dolls, and then you play it with the uh, Pidgeot from, what is that from? I believe Team Up that shuffles their active in. So you shuffle all their bench, and then you shuffle their active and win the game. I think it could be just fun. It's just kind of like a meme deck. It's not anything that's like amazing. But I think it could be a lot of fun just to play, especially like if you've got kids in your local area, and you're just like, hey, you want to play a game of Pokemon? And then you just shuffle other cards away, and they cry. That would be mean. Don't do that, guys. Unless they've been talking smack to you, and then in that case, you should definitely do it. All right, Galarian Ponyta, Cottony, Score Bunny, Hollow Aurora Energy, and Celebi V. All right. Find a friend, search your deck for two Pokemon, reveal them, put them in your hand, and line force 50, and then 20 more damage for each of your benched Pokemon. So we're gonna be maxing out there at 20 times five, right? Which would be 100, so 150. For two energies is not horrible. Find a friend is not bad, especially since we'd be seeing things like Bikini V, find success, and just some first turn one energy attacks. I think it might have potential. Let's put it over there with their friends. We get five Vs so far. Uh, definitely have seen worse pull rates than that, but we have come to our last four packs. So you guys are beating the codes on all of these packs. So definitely get some of that. This code is white as well, which is pretty sweet. Here is the code. Enjoy that. All right, there we go. Lightning energy. Pal pad, if it'll come out. Citrus berry, quillfish, silver cobra, yamper, crabby, Q fans, Baltoy, hollow galarian, zigzagoon, and boltund. Come on, got some stuff going on. I like the art on this card. I'm a huge fan of the arts. Uh, not convinced it's a great card, but it's not a terrible card either. Right, let's take a look at this one. All right, we got the Yamper to go with that Bolton, apparently. Let's go ahead and give you this code before we go even further. Take a look at that. It's all for you. And let's see what we can do here. Got some Metal Energy. Raboot. Hop. Pokey Gear 3.0. Yamper. Grookey. q Fox, Baltoy. Chinchuo. All right, we got a uh, Reverse Hollow Ranguru. This is a great card. Once during your turn, you may switch a card from your hand with the top card of your deck. Very, very good, seeing a wide variety of play. Um, probably going to stick it in a sleeve because we like that a lot. And we got Stone Journer V Max. Man, this game really wants us to play Stone Journer, so let's take a look at it. All right, uh, Stone Gift. Attach a, a Fighting Energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon. If you do, heal 120 from that Pokemon. That's pretty good. And then Max Rockfall, that, that Mega Kick attack for three that goes to 150, basically becomes 200 damage with Stone Journey VMAX. I do, I do think that that deck has a lot of potential, especially if we continue to get more fighting support. So let's go ahead and stick it up there. We're going to move Wobbuffet over because, of course, we got to keep the family together. Boop. Right there. And I'm going to stick that Oranguru kind of like below them, just because I do think it is a very good card. Um, I think it was a good pull for us. There we go. All right. So we're starting to run out of room there, but we do have a slot over here. So we want to fill that up. That's our goal. That's going to be our, our, our mission. Here is the code. Make sure you guys are hitting me in the comments with what stuff you're pulling on PTCGO. If you got any pictures, you're well, more than welcome to post them. Um, but definitely hit me up with what you're getting from these codes. I would love, love to know. Pokemon Center Lady, Sea King, Hitmonchan, Rhyhorn, Minchino, Chinchuo, Krogunk, Glaren Meowth, got a Hollow Score Bunny, and 
Look at that, Rainbow Lapras V Max. That is a very, very good pull. Let's go ahead and take a look on TCG Player, see what we're doing while, while I'm scrolling there. Let's take a look at G Max Pump. This attack does 30 more damage for each water energy attached to this Pokemon. And really the idea here is that you play it with, um, uh, what is it, Frost Moth, and Frost Moth just lets you like throw energy on the board. Like as as often as you have it in your hand, you just play it. Um, makes he ma makes it rain like Blastoise, and um, looking pretty good. All right, we're scrolling down, looking for this card. It's not quite as valuable as Snorlax, of course, but we're looking at a good like eleven fifty twelve dollars for this card. So I'm uh, pretty excited about that. I personally like the style of Lapras V Max. Actually, the last challenge I went to was one. Uh, they might have gotten second. Either first or second place was taken by a Lapras V Max deck. So we like that. We're gonna take this Kalibi and or Celebi, and we're gonna move it over and have that Lapras V Max in there. We'll even shift the camera a bit so we can still see that a Celebi. All right, last pack, everybody. It's been real. Before I open this, I just want to let you guys know um, there's tons of stuff happening on this channel. Be sure to like it, subscribe to it, um, comment below, and share it with your friends. Um, Unison Games is the name of this company, and we would love to chat with you both on YouTube and on our Facebook page. Um, Unison Games. So definitely uh, check it out. We would love to uh, see more of you in the future. Without further ado, this is the final Sword and Shield pack from this booster box opening. It is, of course, Snorlax. Let's see if we can go out with a bang. There's a code card for you. Um, don't forget to let me know if you're getting good stuff from these codes. We would love to know. Metal Energy, Good Drizzile, Bishart, Evolution Incense, Sizzlipede, Wooloo, Grookey, Sobble, Rhyhorn, uh, Reverse Hollow Inteleon, Mudshale. All right, so let's go ahead and scoop these up. This is why we put them in sleeves. We got. A nice Lapras V Max evolution line. Definitely come in first with a Lapras V and a rainbow Lapras V Max. Then we got a nice Stone Journer evolution line here. Stone Journer V Max with a full art and a regular art Stone Journer V. We like that quite a bit. We got Celebi V. Very cute, very uh, possibly utilitous. Uh, Wabafet V with that gritty comeback. Very techable card. I think we're going to be seeing more of it in the future, and then just kind of as a sub, we got uh, our Reverse Hollow Orin Guru with Primate Wisdom. We really like that. So like I said, make sure you like, subscribe, share, and comment. What was your favorite card that we pulled today? Um, what cards are you looking to pull? What cards are you pulling with the free codes that we're giving away today? And of course, make sure you check out the rest of the Unison Games happenings, both on YouTube and Facebook. We'll see you guys later. Like I said, this is Michael Sean, and uh, we'll definitely be back for more Pokemon awesomeness later on in the future.